Okay, good morning everybody. It is important on this Amazon Japan order that I actually do a true unboxing because I have ordered another one of these blades that have been reported to me to be shipping out the wrong end. So the straight shank, kind of what they have pictured here, has been shipping out instead of the T shank. So what I did was I waited to put an order in on Amazon J Japan until after I saw the stock on this item go down. So I think I saw it go down to a four, a quantity of four in stock. And then all of a sudden the quantity jumped up to nine in stock. So I know that the stock has rotated and that they have new stock in the system. Um, of course, I don't know anything about where they warehouse this stuff. Do they have multiple warehouses? I don't know anything about that, but this is going to be a true unboxing. I have not opened this box and we're going to find out if this item is a straight shank or a T shank. And hopefully it's a T shank because that's what the Amazon Japan picture shows. But the packaging on this is ambiguous. So let's find out, and there's some other items in here. I get nervous about doing real unboxings because, for example, in the last unboxing I did, I did a real unboxing, and I failed to realize something that my viewers pointed out to me, and I'm grateful for that, actually, because I don't know how long it would have taken me to notice that on this Kiba, they moved the pivot point closer to the jaw. So the Kiba moves the pivot point toward the jaw to get more leverage and then it creates these these gaps in the in the hinge so that it doesn't look as tight as this one does but that's because of the mechanical design that they did that so i missed all those details because i was doing a true unboxing and i didn't really realize the features of this when i bought it and i didn't open it up and take a look at it and research everything so that's kind of the danger of doing a true unboxing so anyway let's get to it um, people always ask me about this knife this was a knife i bought on amazon japan and it's out of stock and can't get it anymore it's it's really just a it's a it's a made in China knife. It's, it's, it's a cool design, but it's not anything that, uh, you know, is like a, a custom knife maker or anything like that. And don't freak out. There's some stationary items in here. Um, <laughs> the stationary items I'm a little scared of now because man, I, the, the video that I did on these things, uh, yeah, I every video I've ever made has gained subscribers except the video that I made on these things. I lost one subscriber. The video gained zero subscribers and lost one subscriber. So, right, know your audience, right? All right, so let me get all these items out of here. Oh, here we go, here we go, here it is. All right, so here's the blade. All right, so we're not gonna talk about those because nobody wants to see that stuff. All right, so let's just put the tools out here. Let's keep this on camera. This goes together. These, these KTC products are so good. Somebody said, hey, you gotta get a rote ring multi. So I got one. All right. Oh, the pens, I don't know. Those aren't, you know, people are going to, hopefully not, they're going to not going to freak out about that. But anyway, let's see here. All right, so this is, this is the most important thing we got to, we got to cover in this video is this. So here we go. This is September 1st, 2021. I'm opening this fresh. This is still sealed. So this is what is shipping from Amazon on this item. Okay. Let's use the Leatherman Surge here, get this. Okay. 
All right, here we go. So the picture, the picture shows the straight shank, but is it straight or is it T? It's T, it's a T shank, guys. Guys, I do not understand what is going on with this. I, I gotta think they got a few of the wrong item. Either the manufacturer packaged it wrong or they fulfilled it wrong at Amazon, but they are shipping the T-Shank. So late August, early September 2001, Amazon Japan is shipping the correct item as pictured in the description with the T-Shank, the T-Shank that fits in the Leatherman Surge, just like this, and they're shipping the correct item. I'm putting affiliate links back up for this item. If you get shipped the wrong item from Amazon Japan, let me know in the comments immediately and I'll see what I can do. I'll probably take the affiliate link back down, but for now I'm putting the affiliate link back up because it was either a one-off mistake with one of my viewers or it may have, there may have been a couple of items that shipped out wrong, but they are shipping the correct thing out. Let's look at this handy saw. I saw a YouTuber using this and I thought, man, this is just really fine blade, fine teeth on here. This is basically like exacto knife saw, you know, those little tiny, super fine tooth, um, back saws that you can get from Exacto at hobby stores. The teeth are so fine on this thing. Here's a little bit of balsa. Yeah, it's just a very, very fine, gentle cut. <laughs> Man, this thing. Yeah, this is just, this thing is like a, just a super duper hobby and craft saw. Man, I mean, you know how, you know, look how smooth that is. Because if you use, on balsa wood, if you use anything with large teeth in it, it just rips up balsa wood. And I'm guessing somewhere here, there's a description that says, oh, this has really fine teeth. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know uh, what it says. So I don't know you know, if they are what they're describing there. Okay, this one has slightly larger teeth. It seems pretty smooth along the edges. So let's see here. I've never even used one of these before. I'm not sure that I even know how to uh, see. This is the... <laughs> This is the risk I take when I do a true unboxing. See, now I'm gonna fumble around with this. Oh, they're saying to hit the corner to pull the blade out, pull the blade out, and then whack it on the other side to get it in. Okay, like this. Okay, there's that blade. Then this one we put in there. And then they're saying to hit, hit it on the back like this. Well, there we go. Yeah, that's a little too aggressive for, for balsa. The other one does a better job. But yeah, and that one, you can see it's a little more chewed up, but Excellent for doing fine, fine work, you know, like a, th like a thin piece of trim or something. I'm not gonna cut through this, this piece of wood with this, but, you know, it's a very fine cut. Man, I, I really like these Zetsaw products. Man, they make good stuff. So this blade is made in Japan. This blade is also made in Japan. Um, this handle is also made in Japan. And this is a, 
it's a plastic handle, but it has it has a really nice rubber grip on this. You know, and in the in the photos, I don't know if the quality of this really shows. Yeah, they have made in Japan stamped here as well. This is this is a really nice saw. Okay, very very happy with that. And also, once again, these things are an awesome surprise. Wow, goes down to a really nice fine tip on there. These are some of the nicest uh, plastic separation tools made in Japan. Okay, what else we got here? So this is the, so here's the set, is the ATP 201H3. That's the set that this is. Okay, so... This one, that goes down pretty thin. This one isn't too bad either. Yeah, these are, these are really nice. All right, very happy with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this pen and then I'm gonna talk about stationary stuff. So don't hate me for talking about stationary stuff. Um, you know, you can you can tune out right now if you want to, but this is a rote ring. And this is a three in one. So that's black and they have it at, marked at the tip. So then how do I choose how do I choose the color? Do I rotate this? It doesn't alternately choose anything. Okay, after messing around with this endlessly and watching some YouTube videos about this, this is supposed to switch. So it's right now it's black ink. Now it should be red ink, but it's not, it's black ink. Now it should be the pencil, but it's not. It's still black ink. And now it should be black ink, and now red, and now the pencil, and now black, and now red, but I get black, 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 black. Maybe about every 50 times it'll switch. So, not a fan. It's, it's, it's an interesting look. Um, the button's kind of interesting, but I, I like the Japanese ones better. The Japanese multi-pens I like better than the rote ring. The, the rote ring that's all metallic um, looks pretty cool. That's why I thought I would try this one first. It's a little cheaper. Two thumbs down for me on the rote ring Tiki 3-in-1. Somebody goofed up on quality control or whatever. I don't know. I'm dying to take a look at this really interesting looking pencil sharpener here. It's just a regular pencil sharpener. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's see here. Let's put that there. So I've got my Silver Streak Welder's pencil. So this here so that locks. Okay, you can't put anything in. Slide it up. Okay, now the okay, the pencil fits in there. Slide it all the way up and it releases the the dust bin. Okay, so let's put it back into the pencil sharpening mode. Boy, this really needs Okay, so it is it trying to, it's trying to power feed this. I can see the little rollers in there trying to pinch it and bring, bring it in. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, because there's no way to mount this. It's got a, this is not sticky or tacky, it's smooth, but it's like a, it's like a smooth foam. So you, you gotta use two hands, you gotta hold it down. But it, it's a self-feeding thing. Okay, so is that it? Is it telling me that it's sharp? Oh, 
Wow, okay, yep, wow. Nice job. Nice job. Wow, okay. All right, well, that definitely has uh, turned out better than a rope ring tiki. This is just the type of eraser that's plastic. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't make a lot of shavings. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate the eraser, but what I will do is demonstrate the eraser cleanup tool. <laughs> I gotta call it a tool, right? Cause this is a tool review channel of sorts, tool review and, ho and my hobbies. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Is it made in Japan? No, it's made in China. Okay, all right. So I've got some shavings here from the from the balsa wood. Let's see if it works with that. Uh, let's see here. Did it do anything? Oh yeah, that's sort of... It got some of the stuff there. I mean, this is sawdust, not shavings. It, you know, obviously it's made for larger larger eraser shavings now what is this i don't even remember what this is oh this is a little pencil sharpener so i th thought this one was pretty intriguing you can choose the angle of the sharpener on this one number one is the stubby angle and then number five is the least study angle hmm yeah so anyway you can see it's a difference in the angle i like this one better and then it, t it t basically tells you it's done and it's perfect man i like this thing okay good that'll be great for sharpening my welder pencils I had a reviewer comment that they had never seen a yellow Energel, that they were also a fan of these Energels and they had never seen a yellow. So I did some more research and found out these are all limited edition colors. So I bought another set of these limited edition colors. That's what that's all about. And then these are, these are just colored mechanical pencils. These are some very fine point, 0.38 millimeter made in japan these are colored pens with a very very fine tip and then these are these are actually scissors and we like having these in our office in our house and i like having them in the shop so So these are just scissors. So my favorites this round are this very nice Zet saw. I love this really, really fine wood cutting blade. I like this pencil sharpener. I knew I was gonna like these. These are really well made. I really like these. And then we also figured out that it seems like Amazon Japan is shipping the correct T-shank SK-11 jigsaw blade now that has the Japanese back saw teeth on it. Very sharp. I made a video about that. I'll link to the video at the end here. So that's good news. I'm going to put affiliate links for this blade back up. So that is my Amazon Japan tool haul late summer 2021. Thank you for watching.